Well, this is another lovely summer morning in August and we're down by the lake enjoying the weather. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? So what the heck are you wearing, <laughs> Teen? Oh, we look like bandits. We're wearing our masks, Norm. Better not go to the bank. No, that's true, hey? Anyway, we're now in stage three of uh, this opening the province, but unfortunately there's been a bit of a setback. Yeah. And it means we're having to wear face masks in all public buildings. They just passed a law. Yeah. So this is what we're wearing when we go out uh, into a, a public building. Yeah, so whether we're going into grocery shops or doctors or anywhere, libraries, even in our apartment place where we live, we have to wear them, don't we? In the public spaces. Yeah. So I guess everybody now maybe is realizing I like hats. <laughs> you look great in it, Norm. Oh, no, Dean. I only have to wear hats because I've got no hair. <laughs> but it protects you from the sun, which is what we're all supposed to be doing. So I got this hat in Mexico. It's really, really uh, nice and it's dead cheap. It was, yeah. So it's like plastic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been everywhere with us on our travels since you got it. So talking about Mexico, Tina, that leads us into what this video today is about. Yeah. Which is? About our travel plans. Our future travel plans. Are there going to be travel plans for us in the immediate future or not? So we thought we would like to tell you uh, what we were the decisions we've come to and we thought we would share a beautiful August uh, morning. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And walk around and show you some sights and talk about travel with COVID-19 and what... What our plans are. So yeah. one of the things that we used to like doing a lot was... Cruising. And we've done a lot, <laughs> so we... Uh, yeah, we have. And the reason why we liked doing the cruises um, was primarily you could see a lot of countries very quickly. In yes. two weeks, you could be in six different countries, eight different cities, and it was just fantastic for our stock video business. It was, and probably in the last couple of years, we've probably done about 12 cruises, haven't we? We've done some beautiful ones. We have. A couple of transatlantic, which yeah. were awesome. So... Are we going to be doing cruises in the next two years, Tane? No, we don't think so. We're trying to weigh up everything we're seeing in the news, aren't we? And We are following the news stories, yeah. and we did see the Hertie Gruten um, cruise problems with uh, the cruise in Norway. Yeah, with, uh, they had an outbreak, didn't they, for both crew and passengers, didn't they? And uh, and they had prepared so much for that cruise and to uh, take all precautions and they still had a large outbreak. Cruising, I think we're just crossing that off the list for at least two years. It's a shame because it's a fantastic way of doing things, but even with the precautions they're taking, with the reduced capacities, it's it's not working. The Paul Gauguin in the uh, South Pacific had an outbreak. It seems that whenever people get onto a cruise ship, there's an outbreak yeah. of this virus. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we looked at was RVing, because RVing fascinates us, doesn't it? It does, as as you know, uh, or maybe you don't know. We did a Toronto to Vancouver in a rented RV for two weeks. And we had a whale of a time. Oh, it was brilliant. We loved it, didn't that we? That was a Class C. And if you haven't seen that, maybe we'll link to that uh, video so you can see us going across, across. two-thirds of Canada yeah. in the springtime with snow in an RV, a Class C. So we'll link to that so you can see it. So what do you reckon, Teen? RV. So really, it, there's a couple of things we looked at, isn't there? There's the RVing um, in a static RV, where I guess we're in one place. Perhaps we should say for people who aren't familiar, <laughs> RV, recreational vehicle. <laughs> that encompasses motorhomes, travel trailers, caravans. And static trailers, doesn't it? Yeah, so we went to have a look on a, on a park at some static uh, trailers to buy 
And what do we think? They, they were beautiful, but because we like to move around a little bit, we decided that wasn't for us. So then we decided to look at the option of buying, a, I guess, an RV motorhome like the one we did across Canada in, didn't we? Yeah, and there is a company, uh, well, there's quite a few rental companies in Canada and the US, and they sell their inventory off. So we saw that... Uh, Cruise Canada, who is the same as Cruise America, will sell their older RVs off. So we did look at those and they did seem a really good idea, didn't they? They were a great price. Yeah. The only problem with that is, which when we looked into it, was we realized when we would drive it to either a site or boondocking. Um, while camping. While camping. Um, is that if we wanted to go to a store, we'd have to take the whole RV with us. Or tour around. <laughs> so... But you thought, might oh. say, hey, you could tow your little car you bought. And that, <laughs> we, we seriously considered that. So we looked up, because we have a Hyundai Elantra. Yeah. And you cannot flat tow that. <laughs> Which then brought another problem, didn't it? Which meant then we'd have to have a trailer to put the car on the trailer, which means now we're towing really long stuff. Yeah. And we thought, this is crazy. It, oh, and also that would bring in a lot more liability. You know what we are with financial liability because <laughs> that's going to be one of the greatest risks to the capital that you have in yeah. retirement. So we looked at a lot of older RVs, and we watch YouTube videos of people buying them. And, and yeah. to be honest with you, they leak like a sieve, don't they? Yeah, we decided that was another stress and pressure we didn't really want. So, how are we going to buy an RV team? No, we're not. <laughs> are we ever going to travel? Well, yeah, but we've just not cruising off and we've just not RVing off. Okay. What we've decided is, if we want to do an RV trip... And, and we do. Because and we, do. We, did, we did enjoy it. Yeah, we loved it. We've decided that we're just literally going to rent from one of the companies, one of the big companies here in Canada. We're going to rent it, enjoy it, and then hand it back after two weeks. <laughs> yeah, so no liability. Yeah. And we, we can justify having uh, the, the higher expense of yeah. just renting one and then uh, handing it back. And we get the experience, we do, but we, we don't have any problems of storage or... No, because that was another problem too, wasn't it, Norm? That we would have to have stored something. We would. We'd have to find either a farmer or a warehouse yes. or a storage facility. So that would have given us extra cost we would have to so incorporate. We've discounted cruising. We've, we've discounted <laughs> RV. So what's next, team? Oh, well... We've got a bit of a surprise. We, we have a solution <laughs> to some of our travel, haven't we? We do have a solution. So let's yeah. go find somewhere to have a chat. Okay. Okay, Tim, I'm, I'm getting really curious now. <laughs> are you going to tell me what our travel <laughs> solutions are going to be for the immediate future? Yes, Norm. <laughs> we are going to do car camping. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> because we thought... We already have a car. Yeah. Why are we looking at the RV problems where we needed a car? So are we <laughs> going to, does that mean we sleep in the car, team? No. So perhaps you can explain on what we're going to do. It sounds very exciting. <laughs> once, a, once upon a time, <laughs> we would have slept in the car. Yeah, we're, we're getting too old for too that. Too old. Yeah. Yeah, we're retired. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we deserve a bed. So, car camping. What we decided was... When we crunched the numbers about having an RV, a Class C, which is one of the most cost-effective to have in North America, and you've got the um, acquisition costs, you've got the storage, you've got the insurance, you've got the servicing costs. Oh my gosh, it, it goes on. It really mounted up, didn't it? So we figured, and, and then you get to the campsite and you're stuck there because we can't flat tow this car behind it, yeah. which we've just bought. So we thought if we used our car to tour and then go back to the motel idea. Right. North America has a ton of motels. Nice thing about motels is that they are self-contained. You don't have to go through a public building at all. And you have um, a kitchenette. Yeah. 
which means that we can take care of quite a bit of our cooking. Yeah, we can cook ourselves. So what we've done is we've outfitted a box with uh, camping needs. So we have an electric frying pan, they call it an electric skillet over here, which is 12 inches square, yeah. plugs in, non-stick, we can cook anything in that indoors. Yeah, which is great. And then we've come up with another plan for outdoors, haven't we? We have. So we're going to get um, a little stove that runs on butane. Yeah, well, we actually picked it up yesterday yeah. at Home Hardware. They had it on sale, believe it or not, and which we can put on a, a public picnic bench. Yeah. And uh, we just would need a pot or a frying pan and we can cook up our own meals while we're out touring around. So it, it looks as though we're going to do car camping and explore one of the most beautiful places on earth, which is Ontario, Canada. Yeah, and um, specifically the Bruce Peninsula. We've just been touring oh. up there recently. And so the Bruce Peninsula is absolutely beautiful. The first time we saw Lake Huron, we, we were driving down to it in King Garden. And it, it just took our breath away. It was turquoise water like the Caribbean. <laughs> I thought we were in Cuba just looking at the lake. It was absolutely beautiful. We were stunned, weren't we? And there are so many places to explore in the Bruce Peninsula. Mm -hmm. And half of the names are all Scottish. you got yeah, King Carden, Carden, and Southampton, mm -hmm. um, what a Lionsgate, lots of different places up there. We, oh, the big to one, Tobermory. Tobermory. So yeah. we uh, headed that way for uh, two to three days at a time. And we found a Carnegie Library. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? It is. So anyway, we've decided that the future for us is car camping. It is, and we're really looking forward to it, exploring lots of towns in southwest Ontario and the Bruce Peninsula. It is, and we've decided that because if you go to hotels, there were way more surf surfaces to touch, whereas the motel, it's, it's uh, got its own entry. Yeah, which is great, and we're looking forward to that. So it's all about trying to keep safe during COVID-19. So, so thanks, everybody, for being with us. Yeah, and we thanks hope for watching. Yeah, hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. And have a great weekend. And just on another side, uh, I'm celebrating my 65th birthday today. So Yay. I'm officially <laughs> an old fogey. <laughs> You're officially retired. So anyway, that's, a, that's our vlog for this week. And we'll catch up with you again later. Bye-bye.